Hi guys, welcome to this long awaited scroller box, um, September scroller box uh, 2022 video. Um, so Raw Mail have been buggering about a bit um, and the box is really late. They said they were striking for, I believe it was two days since the box was dispatched on the 22nd of September, but um, I've not had any post for about nine or 10 days now. So, you know, I don't think that's really an excuse for that. But anyway, um, let's get stuck into the box. Um, I know what's in the box. I um, actually asked someone um, to tell me what it was because we're right in the middle of Inktober at the moment and I am doing daily videos for Inktober. Um, and I'm also doing uh, Scrolltober as well. So I needed a bit of time to think about this because I don't have a long time to spend on the video. Um, anyway, so the box is open and I've not left enough room to get that up. Right, okay, so there's the art supplies and all the gump that comes with it. So we'll get rid of the box. So we have, as usual, the scrawler zine. We have this print, which I have seen in a few videos and it's very interesting. Um, and we have some Frisk Times or X scrawler box cartridge paper. Um, and in here, we will open this up. We have, obviously, our usual sticker which is based on the prints. We have our menu card. So this is the scroller challenge, fascinating folklore. So I know what I'm doing for this. Okay, and then we have the, uh, is that broken? No, the glue's come on uh, The Faber-Castell uh, Five Pit Artist Dual Markers. And I do actually own some of these. And I bought, oh God, about two years ago now. They're, 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 they've not been used, but I've heard good things. So. Yeah, so we'll open those in a second. We have a Derwent Technique eraser. Um, so that's come open as well. What is going on? Normally I don't open the erasers, but someone's done it for me. Um, we have this uh, Robinson 3B Lira pencil. Um, so a little bit harder than what I would normally use to sketch with. Harder, sorry, softer, a little bit softer, but that's fine. Um, I used to use right up to about an 8B. Um, and this is the sweet, so sour belts. So technically I can't eat this. So the question is, do I give this to my child or do I save it until I can? I'll probably save it. I'll get that out of the way, get the paper out of the way. Okay, so let's have a little look at these. I'm not very prepared for this, so I should have got some scissors, but a nail will do. Okay, out the way. I'm literally standing at this table now. It's very, very strange. It's very low. Okay, so we have, first of all, a little leaflet. So this will be some information about the pens. So I will um, I'll have a proper read of that later, but it's just, yeah, it's just going to be information about the pens and what they're all about. Um, so these are... Do you know what? They're a little bit different. They're a little bit different. I think, I think I, I've got some to hand. Wait there one minute. Hopefully you can still hear me and here they are, but they are slightly different. These are a bullet nib um, now I, and, a, and a brush. And obviously the barrels are, so the barrel here is colored and the pen here is not, but the lids are. Um, but I believe, I'm gonna put that in there. So I've got a yellow one as well never used this box um so here i believe these are like a fine liner yeah so they aren't the same pen this is what we had before they are slightly different um so this is a really good mix of colors actually and i'm really pleased to see that we haven't actually got a yellow we kind of have primary colors um but i oh god i hate yellow i just don't like it so um yes oh god i'm dropping so we have uh, orange glaze dark sepia that would be really interesting for line work instead of black I think um, a leaf green deep scarlet I'm not sure if you can see these the text very low and ultramarine so let's have a look at the print first so I've been laughing at this because I've seen this in a few videos um, so the featured artist is T Juris Jurisic so I hope I'm pronouncing that right um, and T is an illustrator muralist. So um, these are the social media accounts. So if you want to check T out, 
but I think this print's absolutely brilliant. Um, <laughs> the guy's clearly a peeping Tom. Um, you see his binoculars, there's um, a lady's bottom, he's clearly looking out the window, um, he's stuffing his leg with, <laughs> it, I mean it looks like a chicken leg doesn't it, or a turkey leg, something like that. Um, just kind of reminds me of Joey Tribbiani from Friends a little bit. Um, and here, let me see, he's looking at a porno. <laughs> and he's got Tinder going, so um, yeah, brilliant, really vibrant colours. Um, I've not really seen anything um, like this illustration before. It's very nice. It's quite different. So that's lovely. Um, if we look at the paper, so this is Frisk. So this is quite a smooth cartridge paper. 180 GSM, 10 sheets. Um, so that's quite thick. Um, so that should be quite good with those pens. And then lastly, we have the Z. Okay, so in the zine, we have the description. Have I got this in the middle? Oh, yeah. We've got a description of everything in the box. So our pen, sticker, um, that the sweet is there. <laughs> Even the sweet treat's there. Um, and then we're going on to the school artist. So um, the little uh, interview there with the featured artist. So just some more of her artwork there, which is amazing. I'm definitely going to be checking out her social media accounts, and I think you should as well. Um, just some school tips, things to try, and the artist's advice. So this is always handy. Um, and then we have the school gallery. So I know already that I know this artist. <laughs> so I'm just going to see if I know anybody else. Oh yeah, quite, quite a few. So Nick Chamberlain. Judy Spreadle, Lou Love Lock Art, and yeah, so this is um, my friend Carmel, which is just oh God, such a vibrant portrait. Um, you have to, I'll leave a link below to a social media. You, you need to check out her Instagram because she does the most beautiful, vibrant portraits. Anyway, so anyway, well done to everyone getting the mag, and well done to Carmel for being in the top three. Okay, and then lastly, we are on to just a little bit about Faber Castell and some information about the artwork there. Okay, right, let's get, I'm putting that on top of this, let's get it swatching. So, if we start with pencil. So I'm going to um, do a piece, um, the, the thing is called, the, the challenge is fascinating folklore. So I've been online and I've been looking at Japanese folklore um, and I'm going to do a piece um, on something called uh, Konami? No. I'm going <laughs> to... It's Japanese for fox anyway. <laughs> I can't remember what it is called and I can't look it up. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going, to do, I'm going to do something. So anyway, I'm going to go and I'm going to do that piece and I'm going to catch up at the end.
nice I've reached the ends now um, I'm not really sure how successful this is I kind of like it but I think the clouds are really messy um, <laughs> I didn't let it dry properly so it bled a bit but um, never mind I think I might um, if I get a chance I'm gonna I think I'm gonna redo it um, and then post that one on Instagram but I'll have to have a think about that like the I'm quite happy with her but the background I'm not not so keen about but um, yeah let me know what you think in the comments below now the <laughs> the uh the fox uh folklore thingy that i couldn't remember the name of is kitsune now i believe kitsune is japanese for um fox um let me know in the comments below what you thought um have you got this box and uh, i'd like to know what you think of the supplies um i think they're they're good pens but they're gonna take a little bit getting used to because they're water based and i don't know i think um I was finding that they were, they were damaging the paper. I think you need to really let them dry first and not just touch dry. Like, if they're touch dry, give them another five minutes. Um, but you can get some decent washes. Um, I'm going to try a bit more of that with those at some point. Um, but yeah, I think it's quite a fun box and I, I love the featured artist work. That is that's something else. So um, check out her Instagram. So um, to remind you, that's the account. So you can go and have a look. Um, until next time, please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and if you're not subscribed already, give us a subscribe. Um, at the moment, as it's October and October is Inktober, I'm putting out two videos today. <laughs> um, the first one's already out if you're watching this on the day, um, but I am putting a video out every single day for this month. So yeah check that out we're five days in so far the links to my social media accounts are below um if you want to get scroller box for yourself um i'll leave a link where you can get yourself um, a discount on your first box when you take out the subscription um and then until next time thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon bye